Hello, this is Vampire. Uh, in today's video, I want to tackle the question that I think that a lot of my viewers are going to have where they ask themselves if they are training correctly. And uh, the reason why I thought this would be a good subject is because, um, well, on my YouTube channel, I am encouraging um, people to, to get interested in the martial arts and hopefully to the point where they're going to solo train. Uh, and, and the reason why I really encourage the solo training is because, well, I understand that, that in reality, you may not have a Filipino martial arts school in your area, um, or it just might be too expensive, or it might be very, very far away on the other side of town and driving there would just be a nightmare. So, you know, for whatever reason, you don't have access to a Filipino martial arts school. Uh, so for those people, I would like to, to provide a means to where you could still do something. You can still practice, uh, get some exercise, still be interested in martial arts, and and uh, or, or maybe even use it as a preparation so that in, later on in the future you go enroll to a martial arts school so it's just kind of like a prep type thing so that's the reason why I'm I'm making these videos to to encourage uh, martial arts interest especially in the Filipino martial arts Kali, Eskrima and Arnis which is the same thing just a different name so that's what my YouTube channel does, and uh, if you guys are watching this video and you're studying along, well, thank you so much. And, uh, you know, like I, like I said, I think it's a very legitimate question where you go, am I training correctly? And uh, the, for, for two things, I, I, let me first encourage before we get into that, before we actually tackle that question. Number one is... Uh, if, if you're not sure, you have some concerns or questions, just ask me. You know, send, send me a comment or you can email me at knifebat at yahoo.com. And uh, that's probably uh, uh, one of the best ways to, to get a hold of me. And I'll do my best to, to respond back to you. Um, I, I try my best. Sometimes uh, the message... I will go directly to spam or YouTube doesn't uh, always uh, send me the messages right away and stuff. But you know, I I, uh, I do check the spam uh, filter section too. But uh, yeah, so so please just just ask me. Uh, so that's number one. Number two is um, I know a lot of people are kind of shy about doing this. But if you can videotape yourself and, and try to make it to where I can see it, I'm not expecting HD. I'm not expecting it to have awesome lighting or high camera quality or, or anything like that. Just, you know, film yourself to where I can see it. And then I will do my best to give you pointers. I will critique you and, and try to help you out. And the word critique may sound scary, but... It's really, it's my goal is to help you get better. That's that's all it, it's about, really. So I'm not I'm not gonna cut you down. I'm not gonna laugh at you. I'm not gonna be, you know, making fun or, or anything like that. And if you're shy or worried, uh, there, there's really no concern. I've seen it all. I've been teaching. I've been practicing and teaching for a long time now, and I've seen once again. I've I've seen it all. I've seen. All kinds of people, very uncoordinated to not flexible, to not athletic, to not agile, or or people that maybe they had uh, injury to where they some kind of uh, mental or brain injury to where they they have trouble learning and they want to do it to encourage to try to heal the the brain in that sense or or work on hand eye coordination or I you know I'm once again I've I've seen it all. Uh, some people just want to do like rehabilitation type exercises because because their arm doesn't work as well as it used to or or whatnot. So they're not there to just impress. They're there to just for themselves to get better. 
I, I'm here to help you. So don't be shy. Um, I, don't, I don't charge for this. Uh, as far as I've also been asked about video Skyping and also uh, private lessons and semi-private, those, those I do charge for because that takes up a significant amount of my time. But if it's like, uh, if you just send me a video, then I could watch it while I'm eating or whatever. I could be doing other stuff. So it, it doesn't take up so much of my time. So I don't charge for any of that. If you once again send me an email, of course I don't, I don't charge for answering your questions that way. So please you, use that as much as you can. Don't be shy. If you are going to send me a video of yourself, and believe me, plenty of other people have, because uh, I've been on YouTube for over 10 years. And during those times, not as much people as, as you might expect, but plenty have sent me videos of themselves. And when you do that, um, I recommend please upload it onto YouTube. Uh, you don't have to make it public. Just put it as unlisted, and therefore you shouldn't catch unwanted attention. Um, if you make it private, you have to allow me to be able to watch it. And a lot of people don't know how to do that. So it's just easier if you just upload it as unlisted. Uh, please don't send it to me via email because then I have to download it. And if I download it, we don't know if it's compatible with my laptop and, and whatnot. It's it's more of a pain. So it's just easier if, if you do it through uh, YouTube. I guess uh, another option might be Facebook. I'm, I'm not sure about that. I think at least one gentleman did it through through Facebook, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, YouTube, I think, is the, the easiest. Um, and once again, I'm, I'm just here to help. But those two things, just ask me or just show me, and, and I'll do my best to, to help you out. Okay, so... When it comes to solo training, because you're pretty much, other than, than that, you're on your own, it's perfectly normal to ask yourself, am I training correctly? And the biggest concern that I usually get when, when, I, when I have students and stuff, and they have watched my videos, and they have worked that way, and then now we meet in person, and they're like, I want you to fix my bad habits. People are concerned about bad habits. They're, they're terrified of them. And I think maybe some teachers have done that. They, they have used it as a marketing ploy and they have said to their students, you have bad habits. This, this can get you killed in the streets. This is, this is something that you want to avoid. Well, I'm, I'm here to say, don't fall for that. It's just a marketing tactic. I, I do my best not to say stuff like that. Um, don't worry about it is, is really all I have to say. Uh, the reason being why I'm so chillaxed about that, chillaxed, I think that's a fun word, um, is, is because if you're a beginner, if you're a beginner, you got tons of bad habits, okay? And someone like myself who's been training a long time, over two decades, there's always somebody better there's always someone who, who's trained longer than I have. And when they look at me, I have a ton of bad habits. So that just depends on who's looking at you. Nobody starts off good. Nobody. So uh, the main idea here is that you just keep improving. So if you have uh, the right attitude, rather than saying, oh, that was pretty good. I was awesome right there. Rather than having that kind of attitude, if you say to yourself, maybe you say, that was pretty good. Like, I think the way I did it right now felt pretty good. And that's fine. Use it as a positive encouragement, but then go, how can I do it better? Or where am I lacking? Where is my weaknesses? Let me focus on those for the moment. And then I'll get back to this and make that even better. So if you have that constant attitude, positive attitude of, keep learning and keep improving, then that is what is important, not um, what are my bad habits. Because it's kind of, that almost sounds like if you correct your bad habits, then you're done. And that's not the case. Uh, you just keep going and going and going. So as long as you keep learning, keep improving, 
then the path that you're on is, is what I call a self-correcting path. And if you keep doing that, then you should be fine. Then there is no problem. Uh, if you have the attitude of, like, I'm already good, or this part I already know how to do, if you have that kind of attitude, then, then that is the problem. So it's not so much about bad habits. It's about attitude of learning. Because really, martial arts, and especially solo training, is you're trying to figure out how to learn. It's learning how to learn. And essentially, the main idea is not so much, did I pick the right style? Did I pick the right technique? It's more so about, am I becoming a good student? If you become a good student, you will be able to benefit from any style, any technique. And that's the main idea, is to become the best student that you can be so that no matter where you go, you can benefit from. And that's a very Eskrima guerrilla warfare type tactic attitude mentality. So I'll benefit from anything and everything. So I know a lot of people are like, I want to go to the best martial arts school available. You can do that. But if you do that and you're not a very good student, then you're not maximizing how much you're benefiting. You're not getting the most out of your money. So then it's kind of a waste. Uh, I know a lot of people get excited about tactical knives and they want to buy. They want to buy, 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 buy. And so they go on Amazon and they're looking up knives. They go on eBay and then they go on YouTube and they watch all these reviews. But if you're a beginner... Uh, even if you bought like a $300 knife, you're probably not ready for it. You can't appreciate it because, A, your knowledge is not there. Your experience is not there. You don't know how to sharpen it correctly. You don't know how to carry it properly, deploy it. You're probably going to drop it a couple of times. So then you really want to drop a really good, awesome knife like that? Probably not. So... You know, when you go a hundred dollars and more in that in that range of category of knife, um, you want to kind of already be seasoned by that time. Earn your way to the knife, not just immediately go buy what's the best and you bought it and you feel satisfied because, you know, then then I guess it's the that mentality is kind of like Fight Club, where where you're not doing the Fight Club mentality where you're going, I bought this brand, I bought this knife, therefore I'm in this league. That's that's not the fight club mentality. It was like, you're not your job, you're not your khakis. And that's the same attitude I have also with, with, uh, with martial arts and stuff because like um, the prime example I like to give is, is the pro tennis player. You can give that guy a $15 racket from Walmart or a $300 custom racket. Either way, the tennis pro, it doesn't. he's still going to play like a tennis pro. Why? Because he's solid. The tools, of course, I'm sure it's nice to have a good racket, but either way, he's going to play like a tennis pro because he's a pro. On the other hand, you can get a, a total beginner in tennis. You can give that person a $300 racket they're still going to play like a beginner. So that that's the idea there, if you guys can understand that. Um, so I guess what I covered in this video was really, if, if you want to know if you're training correctly, A is don't worry about bad habits, and then B is have the right attitude about learning, because it's, it's about learning, how well you learn. So as long as you stay humble, keep learning and, and humble is is I said stay humble and that's exactly it it's not something where you go I'm humble that's it I'm, I'm cool it's something that you constantly have to work on because there's many opportunities many times where you're gonna you can be arrogant it's 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 just a choice away so you have to always put yourself in check and uh, you constantly checking yourself that eventually turns into a system and if you have a system, you're much less likely to make arrogant mistakes. So that that's kind of the idea there. So I, I hope that helps. Um, it's not maybe if you were looking for specific technique advice or something like that. I'm sorry I disappointed. 
but I feel like this is more priority over those things. This sets the foundation first. If you don't get this right, then even if you're technically sound, uh, you're going to have a hard time improving and fixing those things later on. Why? Because your mentality was wrong from the first place. So, you know, just just have that attitude of keep learning, that, that, that you're never good enough. But that's not a negative thing. That That is in a positive viewpoint. Um, maybe it's difficult to stay positive if you tell yourself, I'm never good enough. But that means you're to be positive that way, you really have to be positive that way. So that in, that makes you a stronger human being. And that's always a good thing because life can be hard. So anyway, I'm going to cut it right here. I'm sure this video is plenty long. Thank you for listening and take care, folks.